So for this WordPress video, I'm going to show you how to use galleries in WordPress. So how you can add galleries to your posts and pages. And I'll show you some um, plugins that you can use to get a light box effect and some um, neat um, options you can use with Jetpack where you can change the layout of your galleries. So this example here is just a post where I created a sample gallery. So um, in this gallery, if I click on an image, I'm brought to the actual file of that image that um, where it lives on my host. So when I uploaded my image in the back end, it uh, put it there and every time I click on an image, it brings you right to that file. So in the back end of my post, this is what a gallery looks like if you haven't seen it before. And I'm just gonna delete this right now and show you how I created this gallery really quickly. So if you go to, um, sorry, I did that too fast. If I go to your uh, post and make sure you're in the visual editor, um, this tab here, and if you go to add media, and you um, select create gallery on the left hand side, um, you'll be able to select any number of images you want to create a gallery and then click the blue button on the bottom right that says create gallery. So on this page, you actually have the option of reordering your gallery images to um, the order that you like. And you can also add captions here. And um, on the right hand side, you're given a bunch of options. So in the example I just showed you, I actually chose the media file. So that's the actual JPEG or, or image file of um, where that image lives on your server. But let's see what attachment page looks like. And I had a two column example here, but um, let's see what um, four column looks like and instead of size instead of thumbnail let's select a medium size image so by default in WordPress every time you upload an image it's going to create different sizes for you and the sizes may vary on the theme that you are using so let's see what this one looks like here and I um, just did create um, gallery and then I'm going to click update to the page so make sure you do that as well and then when I go back to that page you can either do view post or I have it opened up here in a tab and if you already have it opened up make sure you do a refresh to see the updates to the page and so now this is what my gallery looks like so you'll notice um, that I have now four columns here as expected and um, this image here you'll notice is a little bit bigger than the others and that's because um, I didn't select the thumbnail anymore so all these images might not be the layout of, um, of neat kind of rows that you're looking for because they're all different sizes. And now when I click on an image, let's see what happens. So now I'm actually taken to this page, which just looks like my regular blog, but it has my image embedded in it. And so um, this page may vary on its look depending on your theme as well. So now I want to show you how we can actually do a light box view of your gallery. So if you go to your plugins, and now I already have it installed down here and it's called WP Lightbox 2. So if you're just installing it for the first time, if you go to plugins and select add new, search for WP Lightbox 2 and make sure it's by WP Dev Art. Whoops, didn't mean to click on that. And um, so once you have it um, downloaded, click activate. Now, um, you'll see a few options here on your left hand side. A menu has been added called WP Lightbox 2 and um, you'll see a whole bunch of different options that you can use for your lightbox. But actually by default, this um, can work with your current gallery, um, except Right now, I have all these images still going to a um, attachment page. And all these light boxes require that you actually go into your gallery and change it to link to a media file and click update. And then I'll click update here. That's just um, the way that these light boxes work. So um, now if that's been saved, and I go to the view post 
Now you'll see when I click on this image, this light box appears and I can actually scroll through all the different images in this gallery. So that's kind of a neat um, functionality there. And it also works on mobile. And um, I just want to point out one other plugin and that is called, um, where is it? Uh, oh, sorry, Responsive Lightbox. So that's another pro uh, plugin that's really popular right now for lightbox images, and that's created by D Factory. And I like this plugin because it actually has the option to swipe through the gallery on your mobile phone. Okay, so there's two light box plugins. Now I want to show you some different layouts. So if you go back to your page and if you go back, click on um, your gallery and click on the little um, pencil icon to edit your gallery. And now you'll see on the right hand side, I had this type drop down. Now you might not see this on your website right now and that might be because you don't have the Jetpack plugin installed. So if you install the Jetpack plugin, which should be in your plugins uh, directory already that comes with um, WordPress, self-hosted WordPress websites, if you activate it, you'll now see this option and I have the option of selecting a slideshow. So let's just quickly see what that looks like for the gallery and almost saved. Now if I go to view post, now my gallery actually is a slideshow that I can um, scroll through all the images, which is pretty neat. Um, but the Jetpack actually does have some other options for you. So on the left hand side, if you click on Jetpack, and then if you click see um, the other 25 Jetpack features, everything that you can get with Jetpack, you'll see there, if you scroll towards the bottom, there's this tiled galleries feature. So right now it's not activated by default, but if I activate it, and if I go back to my page, click on my gallery and edit my gallery. You'll now see the type has a few more options of this tiled mosaic, square tiles, or circles. Let's see what this tiled mosaic looks like. And um, I think I'll keep everything the same and update my gallery, update the page. And if I click view post, now you'll see this cool little layout for my gallery. So that's some neat options for your website, for your gallery's look and feel. Um, now I will say that that second light box that I mentioned, the responsive light box, um, there's a bug right now where it's not working with the Jetpack. It's not uh, behaving well with it, but hopefully they'll fix that soon. If not, you can still use the WP um, light box plugin and that will work with um, these galleries here. Um, I also want to say one more thing. So sometimes if you see that you click on a file on an image and it's loading a little bit slow, it could be because your image is just a little bit too big. So really quickly, I just want to show you how you can edit the size of your files. So right now I'm showing you this on a um, laptop and I've, I've set most of these images to about a thousand pixels wide, which is pretty good. But I still have this one here that is the original size that's really big. So you can see this is two megs, which is pretty big for an image. Um, if I click on some of these other ones, they're only 106 K, so that's quite a difference here. So if you click on your big image and you click edit image, right here in the WordPress app, you can edit your, you can resize your images. So uh, maybe a thousand, maybe a thousand five hundred um, would be a good size and just um, hit scale and that automatically resizes your image. You'll see image saved on the top left and there. Um, then I update my gallery and now that image won't load as slow as um, it did before because it, it's not as big. 
So um, that's a quick tutorial on the gallery options in WordPress and also some plugins that you can add to make um, your layout a little bit different or use a Lightbox plugin. So I hope you like this tutorial and there'll be more to come soon.